And welcome back to Dobie Derps, Fallout New Vegas. Mm, let's just get right back into things, shall we? <coughs> what the? for her damned efficiency guidelines. All experiments will be carried out with the test subject fully active to reduce iteration time. It's barbaric. I've explained this to the colonel. Just because the iBots don't have true AI doesn't mean they're just machines. I guess results are all that matter around here. Forget things like ethical procedures or humane treatment. I'm starting to have serious misgivings about leadership around here. At least I've got you to talk to, huh, Eddie? Uh, Whitley is really protective of his iBots, huh? Can't believe they approved that. I've met enough robots to know they're more than just machines. Well, some of them are. Let's press on. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Let me protect them. Uh... I can see why you left that place then. Hopefully this best just got what was coming to them. Let's press on. There's a death claw. I hear the death claw, but I don't see the death claw, which upsets me. <laughs> NCR trooper, huh? Team Bravo orders. At 1600 hours, Bravo team will conduct a sweeping clear operation and advance into the main force. Early intelligence suggests that the tunnels are the only sparsely populated by small subterranean semi humanoids which are easily cowed by bright light and loud noises. Bravo team has been issued flashbang grenades for this purpose and is expected to meet minimum resistance. Mm hmm. You don't find a flashbang grenade. Flashbangs are special grenades that A, or that, deal fatigue damage, reduce uh, enemy weapon skills, and have a chance to frenzy tunnelers. Frenzying tunnelers does not sound like a good idea.
remember them being a lot tougher. Death from. Oh, jeez, there's one underground. No, but it's all right. Limbs are kind of crapped up.
is a lesson here in the divide. Old world history about paving and intentions could teach the Republic a thing or two, if they listened. They have an idea of trying to do what's right, never quite getting there. Maybe you've seen it. Neptun. Elsewhere. Is that a better way? Yes. And any courier could tell you the same. See it everywhere. The bear. Bears too busy carving up the Mojave with knives, roads, borders, and how things should be, to see how it is. They're stretched thin, can't protect their front lines, their towns. Think paper is power, radio means control. All of it, useless. No matter now, Bear can hold the divide. You and that machine are all that remains of NCR here. Rest fell to radiation, fire, and what burrows below. Mm, burrows below, you mean those creatures in the underpass? The Markman and Hope fell. Some had strange masks and blades I'd never seen before. NCR, those soldiers in Hopeful uh, were once NCR, I'm sure of it. Uh, why were they with the Legion? Tunnelers. Predators that make their own roads beneath the ground here. Divide broke their sky, showed them the world above, and the scent of new prey. Well, crap. Okay, back. Had a bit of a problem there. Uh, radio from war might have created them. Detonations, quakes, caused them the surface. Makes sense. Truth favors that. Matches the history of this place. Were signs they were here for a long time, before marked men, before what happened to the divide cracked at their sky. If so, they were buried deep. Might have been born the day America's embers started to settle. Seen worse things twisted by radiation. When you say slower death for the Mojave, you mean they're spreading up from the divide? Death will come from below. In the divide, need to watch the sky and the ground. Mojave will be easy prey for them. They'll start emerging throughout the Mojave in time. Might be years, probably less. They breed fast, hunting groups, more than enough to bring down the strongest in the Mojave once they draw blood. Seen them tear apart Deathclaws. Deathclaw might get some. But the rest will swarm it, tear it apart, like Denver Hounds. Denver Hounds? Denver far to the east, Legion territory. Mojave and the Divide are the only places I've walked. Walked the east, too, before the bull came. Then, much like Mojave before the bear, tribes, towns, clutching to life. Bull did a better job. Uh, those marked men in Hopeful had some had strange masks and blades I'd never seen before. They bear false versions of Legate the Muse's mask, the one Kaisar fashioned for him. Thought it was an insult at first. No better now. It's shaped from divide metal, not with care and strength. But with hate, keeps them anchored. Crude, effective, like the blades they carry. Distant mirrors of their legate, a symbol they can hold on to, while the divide tears at them. Soldiers at Hopeful were once NCR. You see, true, not scavengers. It's what they wore before this all happened. Pain makes for strange allies. The hate of the bear and bull shared across the 
battlefield, now turned against the divide. Few survived, intact. Many NCR were already here when the destruction happened, keeping the route east open in fear of Kaisar, fear of the Legion. NCR would have needed the supply line open to reinforce the Mojave and Hoover Dam. The dam, that old world wall, but there, NCR couldn't be allowed to reach it easily. Long 15, Cayman, both bad enough. Kimbo, Kaiser, House. You'd think the whole world was that wall cutting the Colorado. If I'd never laid eyes on it, never spoke of it. But once found, it was all Kaisar could see. That, and the flag beyond it, another symbol, big enough to challenge him. And the Divide, one of the roads to it. Legion was tasked with cutting that artery. If you can't kill the bear in one stroke, bleed it, starve it. That kind of murder. It's what any of the Legion would have done. Now, the Divide belongs to history. This is the High Road, where does it lead? At the end of the High Road lies Ashton. It's Silo. That machine I'm with you. It can open it, wake it up. Like it did the one in Hopeville. You have a lot of hate for the robot with me. I can hear it in your voice. Hate? No. There's nothing to hate in metal, steel, gold, or platinum. You're a machine. It's just a tool made of wreckage of the divide. All that was brought here. Never been here before, at least not from this road. Many in the Mali think the divides are nothing but canyon and storm. Wasn't always. There was life. A town farther west. Not talking about an old world town like Hopeville. More recent. Something you saw in your lifetime. It had the name. The Divide, too. But rather than cracks in the earth, it was a road from the west into the Mojave, a supply line. Took a courier to make that road. You. Back then, you saw the road with eyes facing east. This time, the Divide's in the other direction. And if your eyes try to make sense of it when you reach it, home's not what it was. Wow, how cryptic. <sighs> so you're saying I walked this road once from another direction, from west to east to home. All roads lead back to one's home. Not your birthplace, maybe. But... Home. Home isn't where you were born into this world. You taught me that. Part of your message, whether you meant it or not, can be a place of mind, a moment where you know who you are, the history of it, and they can be places you breathe life into. Never would have known the divide had it not been for you. The road you made with your tracks again and again. You were the only one willing to make the journey to and from here. A hard road. Kept the land before the divide alive through seasons, storms. Can't have been just a job. Was something more to you. Don't feel for place that hard unless it's home.
Whatever you believe happened, you have it wrong. Wrong. No. I know the truth of it. It was you on walking that road that kept the divide alive. It grew from what you did. Settlers, camps, filling that old world city. Chance for a new mission, new beginning, new way of thinking. Could have breathed new life into the Mojave, bridging east, west, like Hoover Dam. But not old world. Something you made. Road was a supply line. You're still making assumptions about all this. No. Recounting history. NCR saw the worth in that road you made. Staked a claim whether it was wanted there or not. True elsewhere in the Mojave. And where the bear tries to cling to life, the Legion comes, bearing messages. Some brought by blade, others by couriers. You knew what was coming, as sure as I know what's coming for you. This time you carry the burden. Walk west into the sun and keep walking until it dies. There, I'll be waiting. It's about time. Yeah, I had a crash before that. Recovered and it threw me immediately back into it. So. Cause, oh. What's up, Eddie? Are you actually pushing that towards me? That's kind of just problematic also. Okay. Thirty-five, two forty-seven. Yeah, no.
No. Just in case. One more enemy. That might be useful. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that, Eddie. But come on, get up. Really, a death clause classified as a medium threat at this point.
I think I've died enough times this uh, this episode. So, I'll cut it off here. Ugh. I'll put that in my face. And next time, you get to watch me die some more. Um, as for what I said last episode, I may go for slightly longer episodes, but more than likely, I'm not going to finish the game before Fallout 4 comes out. So, uh, when more than likely this upcoming Monday in, let's see, one, two more recordings, I'll be taking a hiatus, which then Chapter 3 will start and we will finish the game. So, I've been Doofy Doby. You have been watching me get killed, and I hope to see you again later. Bye-bye.